Hello everyone, welcome to Finance with Justus. I'm Justus. Facebook just released their Q3 earnings and boy oh boy, my portfolio is hurting. Full disclosure, around 55% of my portfolio is in Meta. I am putting my money where my mouth is, so if I'm wrong, you know I'm also losing. They exceeded in revenue, but missed in earnings. The most important things for Meta are price per ad shown and amount of ads views. So here in the last quarter, I've had about a 16% increase in share view and 16% decrease in price. They continue to buy back shares, which we can already see. Their net income dropped by 52% year over year, while EPS only dropped by 49%. So we can see a good buyback program right here. Even with lower income, they can afford the buyback program. Uh, they have around 42 billion cash versus around 10 billion in long-term debt. So that's completely fine. About their revenue, it decreased by 4% year over year. That is due to the strong dollar. On a constant currency basis, they would have grown by 2%. The reality lab section is a big disappointment though. They increased operating losses from 2.6 million to 3.6 million year over year. And revenue nearly halved from 558 million to 285 million. This is why I always say, if you invest in Meta, don't do it for the Metaverse. That's why I also hate that they're increasing spending in this. The user growth was 4% year over year, so that is very good. Now the things that I do not like in this report and are probably the reason why Meta stock is down 12 to 10%, depending on when you're watching this. I don't think Meta needs that many employees. And Wall Street so far agrees with me in the CFO's outlook. They say, we anticipate that Reality Labs operating losses in 2023 will grow significantly year over year. Beyond 2023, we expect to pace Reality Labs investments such that we can achieve our goal of growing overall company operating income in the long term. So basically they're saying 2023, don't expect us to spend less. It's going to significantly increase. Not only after that, we're gonna, we're gonna slowly look that we're gonna change that. What I don't like about this, before they said that we would be more conservative on that side. They never set an exact date. But now they're saying, oh yeah, through the entirety of 2023, which is an entire year. Now for me, what am I going to do? I'm going to continue buying shares. They're still having user growth. Without the strong dollar, they would have even had a revenue growth. They're still buying back shares, which I really like. The only thing is they need to bring Metaverse. They need to, they need to bring down the spending there. If that would happen, the stock would take off. I will definitely be buying more shares in Meta. This is a disappointing quarter for me. I am happy they grew users by that much. But otherwise, this was very disappointing. I always say though, it's only one quarter and one year, especially with them saying that they're not gonna slow operating expenses on the metaverse until end of 2023. Already tells me, I don't think the stock will go anywhere until after 2023. I will continue to buy though, because that is just my opinion. I may be wrong. I think the stock is fairly priced. I'm not gonna do any market timing. Oh, at this day, the stock will go up this and this much. Tell me what you think. Is your portfolio hurting like mine? Do you hate Meta stock? Did you maybe even short it? <laughs> if that, congratulations. You made some good money today. I wish you a happy day.